Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, I am so excited to share this box with you guys. This is a brand new Harry Potter subscription box. I actually found them on Instagram. A friend had tagged me in their rep search and I entered and was chosen as a rep, which is crazy to me. I've never been a rep before, um, so this is my very first time. And one thing I really loved is the owner in her initial email said that she does not want us to feel like we have to lie or kind of modify our opinions to say she wants us to be fully honest you know to kind of help her grow help the company grow and honest is what I always strive to be so I really appreciated her saying that right up front I was sent the box for free I did pay for shipping um, but I did get the box for free to unbox and share with you guys and I also do have a discount code um, I will put it somewhere on the screen and it'll be in the description down below so I was able to share that discount code with you guys if you wanted to try their launch box with me I'm very excited about some of the collaborations they have done and a few of these spoilers they have given us from Instagram so I am so excited that it is finally here and I can share it with you guys but this is the box for now it has Alpos on the side with their sticker I do believe their logo sticker was designed by MZ Bear Design but I'm gonna go ahead and open this um, at the end of the video I'm gonna give you a little information about this Harry Potter subscription box and their next box that is going on sale very soon which will be based off year one the Sorcerer's Stone but I cannot wait anymore to see what we got so without further ado I'm going to open this box if you are interested keep watching and let's get into it and sneak peek Ooh, and right on top we have a letter addressed to me and it has a wax seal on the back. Oh, okay, so this is just the spoiler card. Oh, and on the back is a letter. Dear Tabby, we are delighted to accept your request to take out a subscription to the Lumosity Parcel after having seen our advertisement in the Daily Profit. As promised, you will receive a parcel filled to the brim with magical items curated by witches and wizards like you. We currently do not offer automatic subscription renewal due to the Gringotts Goblins not understanding the procedure, so... To keep your subscription up to date, kindly send us a generous sum of 11 galleons, 2 sickles, and 17 nuts every two months. Yours sincerely, Head Witch Lumosity Parcel. P.S. On the reverse side of this letter, you will find a list of everything this parcel contains. That is really cute, but we will save the spoiler sheet for last. And right on top, it looks like we have an art print. And it says, have a very hairy Christmas. Kind of see Dobby's head sticking out. So I'm assuming this is the room of requirements when he decorated everything with like hairy baubles and stuff. Um, and Harry had to take them all down before the DA came. It's kind of a cartoonish art print. Um, very minimalistic, which aren't always my favorite type of art prints, but still very cute. Ooh, and next we have a t-shirt. That's different. The front of the t-shirt is blank, and on the back it says, Home for the Holidays. I'm not sure why the front would be blank and the design would be on the back. Um, I've never seen that before. I do like the quote, Home for the Holidays, with the kind of gold reflective nine and three quarters. Not maybe for a shirt, just kind of in my opinion, that's maybe too simplistic for a shirt. Um, so yeah, I am not the biggest fan of this shirt, to be honest. I just don't understand why the front would be blank. But next we have an enamel pin, and there were three options that you could have got in your box, and she did put all three in for me to show you guys. So let me open them real fast. All of these are from Swish and Flick, and these are the three different designs that you could have gotten in this box. 
I have several of their pens, so I was so excited that they did some pens for this box. And I honestly really like all three of these. I'm such a big fan of Nifflers in general though. And I love that it's kind of a Weasley sweater with an N on there for Niffler. And then this one's in a stocking. Maybe Harry got a Niffler for Christmas. Probably not a good idea. But guys, let me know in the comments down below which one of these enamel pins is your favorite. Oh, this is really hard. I think it would be either of these two. Next we have a blue sparkly package. It is an owl keychain. We did have a spoiler for this as well on their Instagram page. And this actually glows in the dark. I will try to take a video and insert it so you guys can see how it looks. But yeah, it is super sparkly and this was done by absolutely Adrian. I do believe. Keychains in general are not my favorite items to get in boxes anymore, just personally, but I do love that this glows in the dark. That is very different and maybe it'll help me find my keychains that always want to run away. Um, so yeah, I actually really like this. Very cute. Next we have some wax melts and these are from Flitwicks and it's hot chocolate and whipped cream. Soy wax melt. This is super sparkly and it's like two different layers. You definitely smell the chocolate. I don't know the Harry Potter reference though. Maybe this was just a winter wax melt and not Harry Potter based. Um, but I do love wax melts and it does smell really good. So I do like this. Next we have, this is the item from Twilling and Tattings. When I saw that the Lumosity parcel partnered with her for an item, I was so excited. I've gotten so many items from Twilling and Tattings and I absolutely love them. Like she does candles, teas, she does art prints. Like, is there anything she can't do? But it looks like we got a, another tea, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I do not drink tea, but I do love when we get tea that we can kind of display. But this is Magical Midnight Margarita Specialty Tea Brew. And then right here it has directions. So I actually really love this bottle. That is really cute. Um, Magical Midnight Margarita. I don't know the reference to Harry Potter, um, unless my Harry Potter knowledge is failing me, I can't really think of a reference. But again, I love Twilling and Tattings and how she does her tea for those of us who don't drink tea, so very cute. Next we have, oh, this is the Crocheted Hedwig. There was a spoiler for this on their Instagram as well. The picture looked different though. I do love crocheted items, like I have a crocheted mandrake over here, um, but to be honest, this is not my favorite. It just doesn't really look like Hedwig to me. Maybe from that angle, I kind of see Hedwig. What do you guys think? Do you see Hedwig? I kind of see it there. Next we have a little yellow bag. It is a personalized ornament. This is a tea for Tabby. Again, I'm going to be totally honest. I am not a fan of this. I just don't think this is great quality. Design-wise, definitely not my favorite. I don't know if it's meant to be like this, but there's like white patches on some of it. I think if they were going to do a personalized Harry Potter ornament, they maybe should have done it a little different, a little better. I mean, I've seen a lot of DIY Harry Potter ornaments that are absolutely amazing. And guys, I do not mind handmade items in boxes if they're good quality and design. And just in my opinion, and not to be mean, this just isn't my favorite item design-wise and quality-wise. Um, I personally probably would not have put this in the box. Um, like I like the idea of it, of having a personalized ornament, especially since this was around Christmas. Um, I just don't think the execution was there. Next we have a, another Harry Potter ornament. And again, this is a, another handmade ornament. We have the Quibbler. 
Um, so I guess this is kind of supposed to look like a edition of the Quibbler. Roasted hippogriff and candied gnobes. Oh, a hippogriff? Poor Buckbeak. But yeah, again, same thing with the last ornament. I don't like the quality and design of this item. Like, you can see super glue kind of just there. Like, this is kind of falling apart already, just peeling off. I probably would not have even put this in the box because this box, for those who paid for it, I think was with shipping around $70, which is very, very expensive for a Harry Potter box. And for these to be two of the items at that price point is not great. Like I know she said that she had to outsource some of the items. So I'm assuming maybe these three were outsourced items to other people. But honestly, I kind of think these were a big miss for me. Not what you would expect in a box that cost $70, just to be completely honest. But let's move on. Next we have a brown package. Ooh, this is pretty. You guys know I am a sucker for these type of potions. I think this is from Patronus Potions because we have a wax seal up here with a P on it. And it's Sleek Easy Hair Potion. Oh, that is so pretty. I adore Patronus Potions. Their potions are always amazing. So I was so glad they were able to add something in this box. That is awesome. And next we have another t-shirt. Oh, this is the t-shirt that was for me as a rep. So on the side here, it has Lumosity Parcel. That's cute. And on the back, it says, Happy Christmas. Oh, I do appreciate that. And last in the box, we have two business cards for Absolutely Adrian and Patronus Potions. And then it looks like we have the house specific item, which is a bookmark. I do like the design and that it's house specific. Um, the only thing is it's kind of just a paper bookmark, which again is not a very high quality item. Um, so definitely not my favorite. Um, but guys, that was the box. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think, what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, the pins and the potion were my favorite item in the box. I also liked the tea and the keychain, but really those were the only four items in the box that I liked. Now the other items, again, I just don't think the quality was there. The handmade items especially. I think the idea was there like for a bookmark, a crocheted item, a personalized ornament. Like the idea was good. The execution, not so much in my opinion. And then again, the t-shirt not having a design in the front just is not my favorite. I don't know why that was done that way. So overall, not my favorite box. But again, guys, keep in mind, this is their debut box. And it wasn't a complete failure in my opinion, but for the price that people paid for this box, it's definitely not what I was expecting. And I'm sure it's not what you guys were expecting. Now going forward, the owner has told me a little bit about the next box. They are lowering their price points. They're gonna have two options, which is a full and a mini. The full box will be $55.99, but you can opt out the t-shirt and it be $49.99. And then the mini box is $34.99. And then same thing, you can opt out on the t-shirt and it'll be $29.99. The year one box will go on sale soon, either the end of December or the beginning of January. It is going to have 10 to 11 items and it will have items by Absolutely Adrian Wand, Patronus Potion, and it will have a commission print. There will only be 100 boxes, so there will be limited quantity. But in good conscience, could I recommend this box? 
not at the level it is now. Hopefully the quality of items will improve. The t-shirt definitely will need to improve. So maybe after the next box, I will be able to fully and good conscience recommend this box. But again, if you are willing to try out the year one box, you can use my code. Um, again, I will link their website and my rep code in the description. And I hope this unboxing didn't come off as mean or rude. I just always do try to be honest in my opinions. But I do want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> Oh dang, I need scissors. Scissors, where did my scissors go? I'm gonna cut the end so I can save the wax seal. Maxwell. Ne hmm. If I can open it. Open sesame. Mm -hmm.